Okay, here's one way to check uh, if you have a blown head gasket. This customer came in, uh, low coolant, uh, temperature gauge sh shooting up. I added coolant uh, and I ran the motor. I didn't see anything unusual. Um, nothing out the tailpipe, you know. And the fan's turning on and off. The heater core's working. But I did notice the heat, the heat from the heater core was a little bit on the touch, on, a little touch on the high side, like the temperature wise. But anyway, this is an, another way you can check uh, if you have a blown head gasket. It's called a leak down test. Um, I'm just gonna give you the short cut, the gist of it. So this tool, um, you, this, this will actually uh, tell you if there's leak there's a leak in the um, cylinder wall or, or the pistons damage or, or a head gasket issue or you know any any of those things valve uh, the valves aren't closing all the way you know so you can use that to check the condition of the cylinders all these cylinders were within the, the low area percentage of leak down uh, what you're supposed to do is bring it this piston up to top dead center on, each, on the cylinder you're testing and make sure the valves are closed on the compression stroke and then you plug it in and I want to show you right here see that's the coolant we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna pressurize the cylinder to test the head gas so it's under pressure okay let's see what happens here See, the, the coolant is coming up on the radiator. So, that means the head gasket has failed. Let's watch that come up. There it goes. If you're pressurizing the cylinder and your uh, coolant level is rising, See the bubble? That's too bad. That's a sign that you have a blown head gasket. And for this car with 250,000 miles on it, and they they kind of they didn't they're like 14,000 miles over doing the oil change. There's almost nothing. There's no oil in the dipstick. They're not really maintaining the car, so it's not. A surprise that the head gasket went out. Head gasket can go from warpage on the, the head or the block surface from excessive heat causing the gasket to fail. Uh, the coolant can cause the head gasket to fail from rust or when you're not using the proper coolant and not flushing it out occasionally uh, with new coolant and you know a multitude of other things from a detonation, you know, misfires, things like that, or just a poor gasket, but you know, that's too bad. I'm gonna disconnect this right here, and then look, it instantly, it's, it's dropping already since I disconnected. That means, that means that poor, this poor engine, this little D17, I've seen better days, and might be time to let it retire and, and get a new car because it is kind of a lot of money to put into a car with 250,000 miles but anyway I just want to show you this video or uh, this, this this little trick that that we use to one of the things we use to test uh, for a blown head gasket so anyway give me a give me a holla in the comment section uh, Tell me how awesome I am or how stupid I am. Uh, share this video to people who need to see this that may have a blown head gasket. Show them there is a, a, a smart way to do it. The other way that we do it is with the chemical tester. I already had a video about that, the chemical tester. And we put blue fluid in here. And with the engine running, we uh, check you know, like this, and it changes to yellow. And that means it has uh, exhaust gas inside the cooling system. 
and that means a blown head gasket or cracked block or head but this is a uh, for sure sometimes you can pass that chemical test but you can fail this one so this is the this is the surefire way to check most of the time so anyway let me know what you think thank you very much and uh, as always love peace and chicken grease <laughs>